Welcome back to Let's Play Saga 2 Hiho Densetsu. This is Big Los, and we are in Kai's Shrine. Hang in there, Kai, because we're about to go up in ya. So, how exactly did we enter her? Did we micronize ourselves and then go in her nose or something? I'm not sure. It looks like we're in her head, according to the minimap. And the enemies in here are the same as in Giant's World, except for a couple. And these new enemies, once we face them, I will show them, but... Like other enemies that we've seen before, I'll just edit out the battles. So the episodes will be a little bit shorter, and we get straight to the point. Because if you play this game, you'll know that these battles are very tedious and very redundant. Especially when you fight the same enemies over and over and over and over and over. That's kind of why I like to play D&D games. It's really not like that at all. When you grind in D&D, you only need to do about 13 encounters on average to gain a level. Well, level appropriate encounters to gain a level when you play D&D. That's what I read in the Dungeon Master Guide because I did used to be a DM, and I read all those books cover to cover. So now we are in Kai's left hand looking for the Magi, and there it is in the tip of her finger. So that's where she gets all her spirit power from, and now we're going to remove it, and she won't have that power anymore. But we're not done. There's other relics in here that we have to go get. We have to maybe avoid some of these enemies, but we'll fight these guys. Here's a couple new enemies. Influenza B and a leukocyte. And I think they misspelled leukocyte when they translated this. I think there's a K in there. And Influenza B corresponds to Gripe, I believe. Which makes sense because Gripe, I think, is like Italian for the flu. That used to be the old name for the flu, too. And these guys are weak against fire. But they do cast poison, and that's pretty annoying. Now, I don't think there is a way to heal this status element in battle. No, he's still poisoned, but I think once the battle's ended, the status element goes away. Now, there are some that stick with you, like blindness, petrification, to name some. And the further we go into this game, you'll see other status ailments that might linger around. I think Curse is another one. That's why you have to use the cross. So now we're going to go into her right hand. And by the way, what are we going through? Are these like major arteries or something? If so, how are we able to breathe? Okay, here's another new enemy, the stone, which is a souped up version of the pebble. So I guess we'll just cast flame and take all these guys out. Maybe Chrono will get a chance to use a sword. Oh yeah, we gotta get rid of those guys. That dissolve ability really takes a lot of HP. And the leukocytes do drop mate, but that being the white blood cell of Kai, I don't want to eat any part of Kai. No thank you. Besides, it's not really beneficial anyway. I think those are class A monsters and it would just demote the monster that you have to a lower class. Unless your monster was a class A, of course. Then there's no way it could get any lower. They're basically like slimes, kind of. I think they give the same 
modifier as slimes. Okay, so in her index finger lies the next relic, a flame crystal. And I like it that it transfers you all the way to the entrance, so you don't have to turn around and walk all the way back. It does save a little bit of time. So now we got two copies of each relic, except for this poison crystal. The poison crystal is kind of like the flame crystal or the ice crystal in that if you equip it, it improves your spirit ability and gives you immunity or at least strength against that type of energy damage. So if you got poison, I think it would actually make you immune to poison. Okay, so we're gonna go into this chamber right here. And I clearly remember doing this in the original game. Where you go all the way around the Aorta, I believe. We fought all those guys before those that was a bunch of imps and apprentices. And watch out for those holes. You don't want to drop into those holes because that'll just drop you to another part of your body. Yes, this is the heart. How Kai is able to survive with monsters and us going around our heart. It's tough to say. Man, that was a pretty tough battle. They had a bunch of those robots. Boy, do they do a lot of damage if you don't take them out quickly. Okay, so here is the relic. Let's hurry to the next one. Okay. So now there's two passages to the south, but if you want to see where those holes go, I'll show you. And there's one hole in each chamber. And I'll just show you one of these holes right here. It dumps you out right at the entrance of her right hand. That one. So all the other holes will dump you right at the entrances of her other hand or her feet. So yeah, you don't want to drop down those things. So we're going to go to the right down this way. This will go to the lower half of her body. But first, before we go to the right foot, let's go up in here. And this way goes to her digestive tract, I believe. Because I remember in the original, they kind of look like a bunch of intestines in the stomach. And it, it does kind of look like that on the mini-map, sort of, but not as much as it did in the original game, because it was kind of like a winding labyrinth. Okay, now I know that we've fought the Wood Golem before in Ashura's Tower, but here it is as a random encounter. So we're just gonna, I guess, defeat these guys. Notice how I've been using Death and Break a lot. Yeah, and they are definitely weak against fire. No, we don't want the Wood Golem meat. Okay, so there's the relic up there, but let's not get it yet because, as you can see, there is a pickaxe right up here, which means we can excavate a treasure chest. Now what could be lurking inside of Kai? Oh, a defense source. Let's see, I think Shala has the lowest defense, so we're going to give it to her. 
and it's going to raise her defense by three. Now Chrono has the lowest defense, even though he has, like, the most armor. Pretty ironic, isn't it? Okay, we're going to get this relic and it'll put us all the way back at the entrance where we came in. Now we'll just go all the way down. That's called threading the needle. Unfortunately, you can't avoid some of these enemies. And I didn't thread the needle that time. It's too bad. And they actually managed to kill Robo, so we're gonna heal him up. Let's, let's heal everybody up and then we'll cure Robo, even though it doesn't get him quite to his max HP. It's still real close. Okay, see that tunnel? That's where it would drop you into if you fell into a, the hole in the heart. I'm guessing it's just a one-way blood vessel. Jeez, Kai, you got some real big feet, don't you? I guess this just shows you that the Japanese aren't into feet binding, it's the Chinese. Okay, where is that relic? its I know it's in one of her toes. Let's see, is it going to be in your little toe? It is. Alright, so we got to go all the way into Kai's little toe to get this relic. And we got a magic crystal. We don't have to hurry, we're... You know, she's not going to die. No matter how long we take. Now, if they did actually put in a time limit, it would make this game a lot harder. So now, let's go up and around. And we'll go to the other side. Right, we're managing to avoid all his enemies, finally. That way I can conserve my breaks and deaths on for Glenn. Okay, we didn't have to go very far out. It looks like it's in her big toe. So now we got a poison crystal. But will we be able to find the one in her head? Find out next time. This is Big Lowe signing off. Thanks for watching, and thank you, Buendia.